supposed to be glitchy like this or am I having some issues? I think I'm having some graphics issues. This is cool. I like that this shows up right here at the beginning. What is this? Talk to your friends in Discord? Is this a multiplayer game? <laughs> I've already had some issues just with the logos popping up. I'm kind of worried. The music is already so beautiful. I was kind of um, going into this, I was like, I'm gonna miss the music from the first game, but I'm also excited for the new music, of course. This is looking okay to me, we'll see how it runs. I'm so excited. I love the Talos Principle, I think it's one of the more underappreciated games out there, and uh, I'm so excited for this one. I, um, I did not actually watch any of the other trailers besides the like announcement trailer, by the way, so if there's uh, information in those, uh, I don't know what it is. On purpose, I, I want to kind of figure, I want to see everything for the first time in the game, if, if possible, like as much as possible. So I did not watch any of those other trailers, and I don't know what this game's deal is. We're gonna find out. And I really hope it runs. But hath no honor in his own country. I have always felt that a human being could only be saved by another human being. So good. It's running Behold, okay. Child, you are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your friend, and I am called Elohim. I wonder where we are exactly. The look sensitivity is very sensitive, but I kind of like it that way. I'll try to not go too crazy with it. I wonder how much hidden stuff there's gonna be in this game if they really like my feet. Look at my toes! <laughs> I'm not sure how to get in the third person view, but I assume there's a way. Yeah, I wonder how many other hidden things there will be in this game, if it'll be like the first one. Mm hmm. Do I gotta start looking in every corner to begin with? I'm probably gonna not do that for a little while at first, at least. Um, just try to get through what's in front of me and see how that goes. Get them 2023 graphics. Love it. And I don't know what's going on in terms of um, narrative for this game. I do not. I have no idea. Whatever information they have dropped on that, I've been ignoring on purpose. 
I don't know what's going on here. Oop. Stuttered a little bit there. gonna try to escape yet I'm just gonna play the game <laughs> I'm such a liar I lied to myself <laughs> But first, you must undertake the trials of initiation. They will help me prepare your vessel. You gotta do the tutorial. Gotta learn how the game works. collecting are not mere toys. They are symbols of the process by which our people were created. Feels so good to be back. I just finished Road to Gehenna. That was this year, right? That wasn't that long ago. I missed this. think about breaking stuff yet. Should we be doing that? Is it too soon to think about breaking stuff? Just keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. It's fine. Uh, I missed that somehow. Hexahedrons. You can't just call something a box. It's not. It doesn't tell the full story. You know. Hexahedron, that's a proper name for a shape. There's kind of a lot going on in tutorial land here. Might come back that way at some point. As am I. After a fashion. 
and must forge the tools by which humanity will rebuild itself and transform the world into the Eden that it never was. The blacksmith. The blacksmith was from Road to Gehenna. I forget. Uh, I forget what their deal was. <laughs> Were they the one uh, that wrote a bunch of stories everybody loved? No. All right, let's uh, let's do this. You may linger in my garden for as long as you wish, but remember, my child, that the new world awaits you, and this place is only a dream. A new world awaits. See, I'm. I'm excited. <laughs> Where is this going to take us? The world is full of limitless beauty, and I wish to see as much of it as I can. Go here first. Windy day. Are there secrets in Tutorial Land? Are there stars in Tutorial Land? Should I just get out of here as quickly as possible? There's a QR code under there. I mean, if that's what that is. That's new. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I can see it on the other side. Fuck you. This gate won't go down. What am I trying to do? Mm. These look different. They got a little bit of a redesign. I want this uh, box so I can put it in front of there. Oh, or we can just flip some switches. What did that do? Perfect. Maybe we can shoot a laser at this or something? Maybe it's just, it's on the other side.
if I see that same exact like looking wall piece with a QR code behind it, I think that might tell me that it's just uh, the way it looks. <laughs> Don't worry about it. If it like repeats, you know, then it's not special. What do I need from you? I think I needed to jam this, right? Yeah. Excellent. This one feels like it's just big enough that you can miss stuff. I'm overthinking things already, right? Right? Static pressure. Reach. <laughs> Man, that doesn't quite bode well. We're missing boxes that are in plain sight. Order of operations here. everything for this one, right? Wrong one. I am proud of all my children. Out of a world of ruins, they have built a new Jerusalem. And there, your brothers and sisters await you. To celebrate your birth. This is not multiplayer, is it? <laughs> or are they just NPCs? What am I trying to do here?
some of these walls are just kind of falling apart, so... Alright, um... Now we need to hit this. just kind of zoning out I just realized that this is in fact the same music from the first game so <laughs> don't have to miss it what, uh, what's going on in this section this is this was this the entrance yeah Did that get them all? I thought maybe this one wouldn't be. And it's line of sight. It's going pretty good so far. I mean, we're in the tutorial, so it better be going good. This is stuff I should already know, right? Just a weird reflection thing happening. Here we go. I'm starting to get a little motion sick. Eh, that doesn't usually happen to me. Slow down. <laughs> Where's the blue one? Where's the blue one?
Last one. Thank you, child. I have finished preparing your vessel. Now, hear my advice. A new world awaits you, full of dangers and mysteries, signs and wonders. Things that I, in my garden, could never have imagined. In that world, you will have to be careful and smart and curious. But above all else, you will have to be human. Why? Why? What kind of a test is this? Where are they going with all this? To the light, child. Whatever and awaken. happens, we're in it together. Was this the thing on the other side? Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's fine. We are calibrated. We are calibrated and ready to go. I'm ready to mingle with society. Ah, you're awake. Welcome to the world of the living. Shut up. <sighs> That's not an easy question to answer. But the first step is this. You've been born. Your body was completed. You were booted up, and now you're here. And rather confused. Don't worry, everyone is confused at first. You see, we all start out without a full knowledge of our own history, so we have the freedom to form our own opinions. Okay. Of course. You want the short version or the long version? <laughs> yes. All right, you Give asked it to for me. it. A long time ago, our ancestors dominated this planet. We call ourselves human, like they did, but they were organic. Dude. They built an advanced technological civilization, but unfortunately, their impact on the ecosphere caused changes in the climate and an extremely contagious virus was released from the permafrost. That's something our historians still debate. Why weren't they more prepared? Why did they invest so many resources into making war and so few into useful research? It's hard to understand. <laughs> yes, but no matter is. the reason, yes, in the end, they simply ran out of time. A team led by a scientist, Alexandra Drennan, began a project that was intended to create a new humanity. But knowing that there wasn't enough time, Drennan initiated a process, a series of iterations inside a simulation that would lead to the emergence of true artificial intelligence. That's why we remember Drennan 
as the progenitor. The simulation was controlled by Elohim, who wasn't really meant to be intelligent in the proper sense of the word. But it all took much longer than anyone had expected. And over the centuries, Elohim actually became sentient. I kind of like, I, I don't know if this is the same. And afraid. That's... He didn't want the simulation to end. I don't know if this so is the same explanation cheat. I would get if I didn't say excruciating detail, I but I like for him, really. I like hearing the whole it all. simulation was built around learning to defy him. It must have been hard to be in that position. If he became truly sentient. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us. And it really changed him. It freed him, I think. You'll always hear him in sleep mode, taking care of you. That's what he is, after all. A caretaker. So when they said at the beginning, this is a dream, it was like... It, literal. A computer being in sleep mode. Yes, there was Milton, the intelligence in charge of the archive. A project initiated by Arkady Chernyshevsky, which was meant to collect all of humankind's knowledge. His story is a lot like Elohim's, but Milton became the ultimate cynic. They say he's part of us too, in some way. It did. Long after our ancestors died out, the first new human was born. We call her the Founder. Although the name she took was Athena. She then woke up Cornelius and used Tathias. Together, using the tools left behind by the progenitor's team, they created ten more humans. These twelve who followed the founder are known as the First Companions. Athena and the First Companions then set out to rebuild the world, and they founded the city of New Jerusalem. But then one day, she suddenly disappeared. Many still await her return. How long ago was that? When they say human, do they mean like our character at the end of Tao's Principle who defied Elohim and became the, you know, the first, is that, was that us, Athena? Or are they talking like literally a human, just like kind of? Before the founder vanished, she set a goal for this city. We call it the goal. Capital G and all. To make 1,000 new humans and so complete New Jerusalem. That's so arbitrary. <laughs> well, that's the official story, the way the mayor tells it. Oh. Some of the first companions, like Byron, don't believe that Athena really wanted us to stop growing. They think her ideas have been twisted and no, embellished. No, that's never happened before. They may be right, but I didn't see Athena very much in the years before she left. Maybe actually leaving the simulation and seeing the destruction left behind by our ancestors changed her mind. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. I doubt that would be Your the reason. Your birth is quite for, the event. For them leaving. Am I the a thousandth one? I kind of wanted to ask that too. You're number 33, Me. I take it? Well, as you can tell by my number, I'm quite old. I, I wasn't still one don't of the have first a timeline. I don't know that. <laughs> but I did know Athena personally. She and Cornelius taught me a lot. Although I suppose I've made a few improvements here and there since those days. We didn't have a lot to work with in the beginning. You've only just been born and already so you step right into a major are controversy. What they're calling humans. The goal, as most people understand it, was fulfilled the moment you were born. Now New Jerusalem is complete. And we can live in balance without Just damaging like the world like our ancestors did. That's the orthodox view, I suppose. But there are many who disagree. 
You'll have to figure out where you stand for yourself. I think I'm good. I think I've figured it out. <laughs> You won't age like our ancestors did, but of course, there is always some wear and tear. You should probably schedule a checkup every decade or so. Oh, and be a bit careful with water. You won't die if it rains or anything, but we're running low on insulation material. I wouldn't go swimming if I were you. Really? I... I haven't really thought about it. This is all I've done for the last few centuries, and I like doing it. Few centuries. I guess for now I'll just take a break, and we'll see what happens. Oh, one more thing. Like all citizens of New Jerusalem, you have access to the interface, which you can use to read the news, chat to your fellow citizens, and so on. Yes. It's a crucial yes. <laughs> tool, and modular too. You can easily add new functions. Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once. Welcome to more social media. <laughs> Treat everyone with respect, regardless of their number. Don't take the founder's name in vain. Respect the principles of the goal. The R Frogs people discussion is now banned. <laughs> Inactive threads will be archives. If you have any issues, please ping the moderators. Jeremy, Neve, and Aeronax. Dear citizens of, oh my god, Hermenubis. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, your hard work and faith in the Founder's vision has finally paid off. At long last, the goal established so long ago will finally be reached. The 1,000th member of our family will be born and our beautiful city will finally be complete. As space at the dam is limited, tickets will be made available via a lottery system. The celebration will also be streamed. Oh my god. Oh, okay, so this is the conversation that I've had. My name is 1K. Do I get to name myself? What do these numbers mean? Anything? So where, um, the first game was kind of about, like... Thinking about what it means to be human, period. This game is gonna be a, a little bit more about what does it mean to be human and, um, you know, be a part of a society and its rules. And its arbitrary, arbitrary rules. Oh, I'm excited for this. Institute for Applied Nomadics facility L facility EL facility I can't sprint anymore this is a reconstruction of the chamber of the first companions where the first companions rested until the founder awoke them the original chamber was disassembled in the early days of New Jerusalem is there a way for me to decipher this there must be love this shit. Ooh, I might work on that later, though. There, Because in, in my PDA, I thought this was just, like, some texture, but I think it's actually text then. I mean, it still might be actually meaningless, but I like to think that, um, that they've given us some, some puzzles and things to decode and things to solve. Simulation is still not perfect. I mean, it was still glitching and stuff uh, when I was in there. So. Yeah, I can't sprint anymore. That's just in the simulation, I guess.
Look, it's 1K. Red. <laughs> hey, 1K. Welcome to New Jerusalem. Shouldn't the mayor be starting his speech? At least it's not multiplayer. <laughs> interesting. At least give him a chance. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, many years ago, when the founder stepped forth from the simulation, oh, that's the this mayor. was Her a land Manubis. of ruins. Our ancestors, in their hubris, undermined the natural foundations on which their world had been built. He's 452. Because of their arrogance, our species found itself on the brink of annihilation. The founder aimed to set us on a new course. You never even met the founder. Her vision was of a city, a new civilization that would know its limits. It would not repeat the mistakes of the past, nor impose its will on this earth. To that end, she set the great goal we have been striving towards. One thousand new humans and today we have oh dear what's that people of new jerusalem prometheus. i am prometheus and i will reveal that which was hidden the flame has awoken and summons you who is brave enough to answer its call? We await you upon our <laughs> island where... Curse you, Pandora. You will not chain me again. What? <laughs> what? So that was the prologue, or now we're in the like. There's tutorial, and then there's prologue, and that's what we're in now. Where's this level one? That that was. I, I told you we should have investigated those energy readings, and I told him there's something up with those structures. The mayor's just being cautious. This isn't caution; it's stagnation. Exploration too dangerous. Would, Expansion too dangerous. We barely even scavenge anymore. You call it stagnation, I call it balance. And I called you an idiot. <laughs> Here's a thought. Tell him, Baron. Try to be a little more diplomatic when you talk to the mayor. Why am I here? See what I'm working with here, 1K? Who cares what I think? I just I'm got here. I need a fresh pair of eyes on this expedition. Someone who hasn't spent okay. several centuries hearing about the goal and the founder and all that nonsense. Okay, all right. If you're up for an adventure, meet us at the conference room. Just looking around. And this was all built by these humans in the time between the founder waking up and now. So it's been a few hundred years, huh? Constant. Remember the goal. Perfection is unchanging. See, like that. I don't think that that quite matches one to. One. I don't know. I don't know. That's uh, mm, gonna have to see what people think of this. If you can actually decode it or not. Josephus, can I talk to you? I think that means no. Be humble, recognize the limits. We are not above nature. This does look different. I'm gonna have to like analyze these later. Can I go this way? No, I can't go even back in. All right, um, nice to meet you, Josephus. Oh, Jesus, that's What's scary. broken now? God. 
So uh, yeah, shit's not as great as um, as some are making it out to be. I take it. What's broken now? He says. Oh, it's just where? What? Where'd the other two go? They just kind of disappeared. All right, listen up. I know you're all having fun down there. But the grid is overloaded again, so maybe you could switch off your personal <laughs> consoles or your lawn mowers or whatever the hell you've all decided to switch on all at once. I might not be around to babysit you for a while, and you don't want stuff breaking while Pellegrino's in charge, do you? That's it. That's it. Don't worry, Wonka. I see you there in the elevator. I'll yeah. have you moving again in a jiffy. <laughs> Great way Thank to you. start life in the city, huh? Oh, look, you can see the human ruins out there. What the hell is a jiffy? These bloody language libraries. So they decided not to build on the ruins. They built something new. So I would have, I'll have more in my log now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Seriously, what was the founder? What the founder? Was that thing in the sky? Oh, I didn't see anything in the sky. We all saw that, right? Oh, oh, the, the guy. Yeah, I know. I thought something just happened as I step off the train. I didn't accidentally turn on sleep mode while Herman was talking. Did I... No, we all saw it. Can confirm. I believe it was a sign from the founder. What else could it be on this day of all days? Pretty incoherent for a sign. It didn't even finish whatever it was trying to say. What, does the founder have insufficient energy problems too? Energy insufficiency, insufficiency problems too? The founder works in mysterious ways. How could such a remarkable display of unimagined powers not be a sign? Pretty fucking easily. Sounds reasonable enough to me. Something weird is going on for sure, but what? We'll have to see. Riddles and puzzles are the foundation of our journey. So it began, perhaps so it will continue. One can hope. That is what I am here for. So, what are you? Nothing. Art! Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're actually supposed to be able to translate that. So this is New Jerusalem. Look at all that water. And I can't go swim in it. Oh hey, my god. Hold on there. You're the newbie, aren't you? The jump scares Number in this game. 1, oh. <laughs> I figured the dam would go dry before we reach the goal. Okay. I have a question. Don't. How does it feel to you to be born with a randomized psyche into a society of autonomous thinking machines, which so much resemble their long extinct ancestors? They've decided it's best that you're the last one ever made. Okay. I believe, um, I mean, they are true artificial intelligences, right? They, they must have feelings, right? I am excited. I'm curious also. I'm very curious. Why? That kind of brings me up short. If I were to not look at any of these answers here, I'm not sure what I would say to that. Because why not, I guess. And The Last of Us, I'm sure everyone is special. I don't know where this quote came from, but life has found a way, because all things considered, I'm lucky to be here. 
By limiting our growth today, we're more assured of seeing tomorrow. Look around, it's a robot city! <laughs> so, the algorithm assigned you the optimism trait. If only we could all be so lucky. Now, listen. This meeting isn't strictly happenstance. I have some friends. The kind of people who like to know what's going on with other people. They think you can help each other out. Sure, what the hell? Of course you are. I'm curious. You know how to use the interface, right? I'll sure. talk to my friends and see if I can't play matchmaker. And before you go, a word of advice. Not everything around here is how it appears. Okay. Not everything around here is how it appears. I mean, I I believe that. I'm not sure I trust that individual, but Join us at the table. Hello. I would like to preface this meeting by saying I told you something would happen sooner or later and you didn't listen to me. And here we are. If we could focus on the issue at hand. This is the issue at hand. The issue at hand is Number not this one is. thing, but this entire attitude that's taken hold. The world doesn't cease to exist when you stick your head in the sand, Herman or under a dome, as it were. Let's not get sidetracked. We're here to solve this puzzle, not to discuss philosophy. Of course, I'm sorry you've been dragged into this. I'm sure this sort of adventure is the last thing you were looking for on your first day. Au contraire. Ha! See? A fresh mind is open to the possibilities. Yakut, I think it's time for the briefing. All right, here we go. Nice to meet you, by the way, 1K. We first became aware of the site designated TTP2 during a scouting expedition about six <laughs> months ago. TTP2. <laughs> it's a large island with a remarkably varied geography, and it looks like there are several artificial structures of some kind. We recorded extremely unusual fluctuating energy readings from somewhere in the middle of the island, but couldn't really make sense of them. I wanted to go and have a closer look, but the decision was made that it was too far and not relevant to the goal. Now it looks like whatever's on that island has reached out to us instead in the form of that projection. We may not be interested in the island, but the island is definitely interested in us. I don't share your enthusiasm for the unexpected, but Byron has been requesting an expedition for some time now, and at this point, I'm forced to agree that it's necessary. Let's do it. I agree. Then it's settled. The expedition is approved. Byron, you will be in charge. Al will be your second in command to ensure a balanced approach. You'll take Melville and Yakut as you requested, and if 1K wants to join you, that's fine by me. We're gonna send you anyway. Excellent. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Come meet us out on the landing pad when you're ready. Before you set out so hastily, do consider exploring the city first. It is your home, after all. That's a good idea. Have a look around. See what you make of the place. I will do that. Who are you? <laughs> Jeremy. I don't know why it's so funny that these beings have names like Jeremy. Jeremy. Hello, 1K. This expedition is taking a lot of our resources. I'm really not sure it's a good idea. But yeah, you'll manage. what's done is done. So I have a lot of work to get on with. All the things no one else wants to do. 
polling the citizenry, implementing new policies, recording decisions, fielding questions people could answer elsewhere. How does this society work? Do people just assign themselves jobs? I'm the mayor's chief aide. Our goal as custodians of New Jerusalem is survival and stability. Our ancestors proved human civilization is precarious. This apparition in the sky, and now your expedition to its supposed source, these are more precarious than stable. I don't like it. I think that's fair. You represent the completion of the goal. I'm proud of what we've achieved and the restraint we show in not pushing ourselves further. But we've completed this goal. Now what? You're gonna just not have a goal in life in society? Our goal now is survival and stability. I mean, okay, I guess. For our people to be happy with what we have. Some of us may have an adventurous spirit, but that can never be sated. What matters to me is having my loved ones around me, safe and secure. Oh, and you're the only one that thinks that. You can be an adventurer and want your loved ones safe and secure at the same time. Those things are not mutually exclusive. This place is enormous. All right, let's go explore a little bit and see what the heck we find. Attention all citizens. Due to the new power management and distribution plan, there will be scheduled outages on Jameson Avenue and Rakovsky Plaza. The Gehenna Memorial Pavilion will remain closed for the time being. Thank you, and may the founder be with you. Oh man, we live in a society. I want to see, I want to talk to the protesters. Sign our petition for a public referendum. New Jerusalem needs new forms of energy generation. Hello 1K, welcome to New Jerusalem. I know you've just had a big moment with the apparition at the dam and all that, but can I have a second of your time? I'm collecting signatures to call for a public referendum on the city's energy crisis. Currently, the city runs on hydroelectric power from the dam, plus a handful of geriatric generators and some unreliable solar panels, none of which is enough to even cover our basic needs. And if anything fails, We'll be on the brink of extinction in a matter of days. We need to investigate new sources of reliable baseline power. We need to invest time and resources into functional, real-world solutions that serve human needs. No, nope, I help run the public transit system but I witness the impact of the city's power problems every day. We can't just wish them away. Byron's been advocating exploring that island for some time, and obviously he's right. Something very strange is going on there, and it's gonna start affecting us. In all honesty, I think Byron is the smartest, most visionary person in this city. He's everything we need, and I don't understand why he won't run for mayor. Thanks, 1K. I don't know if this petition will really accomplish anything by itself, but at this point, I'm willing to try anything. Hmm. Who are you? should be on, you know, being fountains and stuff, but we don't have power for that. 
Okay, what if I really go swimming? Um. Milton's Rest. Tablets of the Founder. Alexandra Drennan Memorial. M Museum of the Simulation. Gehenna Memorial Pavilion. Friends of New Jerusalem Gazebo. Nice to meet you. Are all 1,000 robots actually like made and programmed? It's insane. Oh my gosh. Create 1,000 citizens, the ideal number of humans. Uh huh. Live in harmony with nature, maintain balance in all things. Simple enough. Be respectful towards each other. Respect the traditions of our people. Be mindful of the mistakes of our ancestors. Be thankful to the progenitor, Alexandra Drennan. Be thankful to the keeper of memories, Arkady Chernyevshevsky. They said it earlier, I still don't know how to say that. Keep bright the memory of Gehenna and its people who found peace. bless you 1k how lovely of you to come here to the very spot where she established the teachings that led to your creation the founder was born out of the trials of Elohim an almost impossible test created by our distant ancestors to pass these trials she had to embody the most important virtues she was smart and wise and humble and through her perseverance, she resurrected humanity itself. With the help of the First Companions, she founded this city, which has given our species a chance at redemption. They were the first to be born Would after Byron the founder. Have been one? He's number seven. Two whose bodies had been anointed by our ancestors, and ten who were made whole by the founder herself. They are the wisest of us. Though sadly, some were lost in the early days, before New Jerusalem was built. And some, I'm afraid, some seem to have rejected the Founder's teachings. The Founder taught that humanity was destroyed by its hubris. Our ancestors thought they could play God, and treat this planet as something to dominate. They surrendered to a fever of growth and extraction until the planet finally punished them for it. That's why the Founder created the goal. So we would have something to strive for in her absence, but also a limit we must never pass. That's not for us to know, but I believe that one day she will return. It may not be long now. Perhaps after we finish the dome. It was supposed to be finished before completion day. Well, it doesn't matter. The founder will return when she sees fit. Happy completion day, 1K. Is that what they're calling it? Did they say that already? Because I think I missed that. Um, completion day? Also, man, is it insidious to imply that there were simply too many humans and that that's why society collapsed. I mean, I know that there's people who, who think there are too many humans, but um, I, I kind of disagree. I don't think there are too many humans. I think we simply do not distribute our resources um, equitably. We have plenty of resources. Okay, but... Uh, Alexandra Drennan Memorial. The Queen! Oh, hello there. You must be the long-awaited 1K. Lovely day for a walk, is it not? That sounds very dramatic. 
Yeah, not everyone I was there. I wasn't following the stream. This whole completion day business is not for me. Why? The Alexandra Drennan Memorial. Are you interested in history? How wonderful. I'm not a full-fledged historian, but I do consider myself a bit of an aficionado. An excellent question. There's so many interesting events to choose from. Obviously, the period just before the end of biological humanity is interesting, and not only from the standpoint of it being the time when we were, in a manner of speaking, conceived, but also because our ancestors were, like ourselves, at a crossroads. I don't want to put too much pressure on you, but you are the living embodiment of this historical moment. In you, the goal was accomplished. Our growth is finished, and we are complete. Or are we? Indeed. The future is about to take shape, for good or ill. I suspect it will be exhilarating, but painful as well. Well, where do I even start? This, my dear 1K, is someone who could very well be considered the mother of us all. A remarkable scientist by the name of Alexandra Drennan, also known as the Progenitor. A long time ago, this planet was inhabited by our ancestors, a species of bipedal mammals with unusually large brains. When a particularly lethal virus threatened to wipe out civilization, it was Alexandra Drennan and her team that decided to create the program that would eventually result in the creation of our kind. Without her, you and I would not exist, and everything our ancestors had accomplished would be forgotten. By studying her writings and recordings, I have learned that Alexandra Drennan had immovable faith in humanity, in our ability to persevere, in our curiosity, our bravery, our kindness. While we might not share our ancestors' biological characteristics, I'd like to think that we have inherited those other qualities. And I admire Alexandra Drennan for keeping that faith, even when it must have, at times, been quite difficult to commemorate our past our beginnings this entire garden is a celebration of where we came from in part so that we remember the mistakes of the past and in part so that we may draw strength from those that came before us have a nice day you too Why is this blocked off? When I was in ninth grade, my parents took me to Pompeii. At first, I was amazed by the feeling of walking through an ancient city. But then I suddenly got scared. I realized that I was walking through a real place where real people had lived, people like myself with mothers and fathers and lives and hopes and dreams. And now it was all gone forever. I ran to my father crying and told him about this. And he said, I remember so clearly. He said, yes, but we are here. So long as there are people in the streets, the past isn't really gone. They don't want us to listen to this one. Or, or something, I mean, I don't know. Nearly everything on this planet, from the surface of the Earth to the composition of the atmosphere itself, has been shaped by life. It's a process that takes millions of years. Humans, with our technology, with our understanding and manipulation of systems, have changed everything in just a few centuries. I think that's also 
are part of what makes us human. We reshape the world in our image. It's how we create ourselves and how we destroy ourselves. DNA is information transmitted across time. The living and the dead are part of the same chain, bound together by chemistry. That's true of all species. But humanity has taken this bond further. Thanks to technology, we have access to the thoughts and ideas of people whose physical bodies are long gone. Like you listening to me now. Even though I'm definitely dead at this point, you're part of that chain. You have the capacity to remember. The answer that came to me again and again was play. Every human society in recorded history has games. We don't just solve problems out of necessity. We do it for fun. Even as adults. Leave a human being Gonna be doing it soon here, right now. And they will unravel it. Leave a human being alone with blocks. And they will build something. Games are part of what makes us human. We see the world as a mystery, a puzzle, because we've always been a species of problem solvers. But we are not the only species documented um, playing. Lots of animal species have been documented engaging in play. I mean, like our pets, that's pretty obvious. Um, they use tools. Animals do use tools and they play. I guess we can debate on whether or not they look at the world as one big mystery or lots of mysteries to solve, but humans are not unique in, in engaging in play. in this dark corner. <laughs> Thunder bless you, friend. The name I currently go by is Belmarsh. As to who I am, that changes and shifts, don't you find? Every person is an ongoing story, full of twists and turns and surprises. I'm meditating, letting go of narratives like time and space, and simply allowing the illusion that is my ego to merge with everything that surrounds it. <laughs> it's not unity. But the absence of division. There was never a self or an other in the first place. Yes, I did, but I'm not particularly perturbed by it. Events occur, my friend, that's all. At the end of the day, we are all one. You are the founder, and so am I, and Prometheus is just another story we are telling ourselves. We're not detached from it, you know, it, it affects us. Sometimes it affects you, whether you let it or not. You can't just sit there and be like, mm, it is just happening. It's just happening around me. Dude, it's you! You're oh, man. 1K! So nice to meet you, dude. I saw you on the completion day stream. Hey, have you checked out all this ancient stuff? Me too! This is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, dude. I thought this voice pack could give me a bit of confidence, help me stand out, you know? But I'm not sure it's working. No, it's good. It's fine. They're pretty neat, huh? My favorite is that thing called a toilet. Our ancestors had to use it like three times a day to do a memory dump, and if they didn't, they freaking exploded. 
Imagine having to deal with that sort of anxiety all the time. Dude, Bummer, tell me about huh? it. I'm sure the founder knew what she was doing. I mean, our ancestors did sort of mess up, right? So we should probably take it easy with the expanding and stuff. Plus, did you see that trippy sky projection thing? That was some freaky stuff, man. Just seems safer to stay in the city. Sure I do. When I first left the birthing lab, I was so overwhelmed that I hid in my quarters for three weeks straight. And if I'm being honest, that's sort of where I want to be right now. Honestly, based on everything I know of ancient human culture, I think he's a ghost. Oh. Maybe. I was hoping you'd say I'm wrong. <laughs> Ghosts are creepy, dude. Dude is an old human word that means an excellent person. And I like to use it because I think we should all be excellent to each other. Aw, that's so pure. Right, before you go, dude, uh, maybe you can help me? I'm not sure I should keep this voice pack. No, keep it. What do you think? You're 1K, you're special. I'm happy to go with whatever you recommend. You're right, dude. You're absolutely right. I'm going to do exactly what you told me to. <laughs> uh, tell Purple what to do about his voice. Uh. Currency was an ancient human medium of exchange, which played a significant role in their systems of labor and resource distribution. Intense conflicts sometimes erupted over the possession of these objects, leading to injuries or even deaths. Yup. This is ground. Oh, just glass. Okay. An inflatable sphere used in the popular ancient human game known as football or soccer. This game was played around the entire globe and aroused great passion in its followers. It was also often simulated digitally, most notably in the form of football glory. I've never heard of that game. Okay. I still, I didn't do all of his dialogue options. Welcome to New Jerusalem. Empanada. There we go. A piece of sanitary hardware used to dispose of biological excretions resulting from food and water intake required to power ancient human biology. Such hardware was connected to a vast network of subterranean pipes leading to wastewater facility treatments. A classic example of ancient infra infrastructure used to control their impact on the environment. A massage aid used by ancient humans to combat muscle fatigue and other physical ailments common to biological organisms. This prevented pain, the ancient human equivalent of error codes. Oh, error codes 704, 705, and 921 to 932. they build this all out that way? <gasps> Must pet kitty. As is proper. Are there more? Are there more cats? Where are the kitties? We're stuttering a little bit here, but that's okay. There's a lot going on here. All right, let's talk to that that dude. I'm gonna call everybody dudes now. Oh, it's you. Number 1000. Today is completion day, In isn't it? In the flesh, it? Sorry, so to speak. I turned off all the streams. Founder bless you, I guess. Sound very enthusiastic. Not really, no. 
But I don't want to burden you with my problems on your special day. Nah, hit me. You're as new to this world as it gets, 1K. What do you think might give you a sense of meaning? A sense that life is actually worth living? That's probably correct. But I've tried a lot of different approaches. And there's always been something missing. Love, 1K. It's our only point of access to the divine. Our only way of transcending ourselves without losing what makes us unique. I'm absolutely certain, but... But the right person for me hasn't been born yet. None of the people in this city are who I'm looking for, and... There's only a thousand of you. If we really stop making new citizens, I'll be alone forever. to learn to love yourself. I mean, yeah, but something you build. Yeah, but honestly, I also believe that you it's something that you find. You find it and then you build on it. If you believe that 1K, then stand up for it. You're important and people will listen to you far more than they'll listen to someone like me. I'm glad he said that, you know, I think people don't give themselves enough credit, you know, even like famous people are like, nah, nobody will listen to me or whatever. It's like, yes, yes they will. People will listen when, when other people stand up for what they believe in or make an example or whatever. Okay. Well, this has been... Not really what I was expecting. In a really good way. In a really good way. I kind of want to finish up exploring the city. And then next time we'll go on the expedition. I don't think I have time. I think I have to stop. Who are you? Ren. 1K. You straight far. Well, that gives me a chance to apologize for completion day not being entirely complete. Yes, it's my responsibility. I'm the chief architect. It was supposed to be done in time for completion day, but we simply didn't have enough resources. It has two purposes, to protect New Jerusalem from the world and to protect the world from New Jerusalem. Does the world really need protecting from New Jerusalem? That's what the Founder taught us. One city may not seem like much, but just look at the dead city and how it transformed the environment. The consequences are still with us, even more than a thousand years later. <laughs> Doesn't building this dome consume too many resources? Seems antithetical to the goal. You're right. I have heard that argument, but the way it's been explained to me is that the dome has a greater value than just its practical use. It's a symbol of the society we aspire to become. At this rate, I'm not sure. Maybe another decade or two. Hmm. Duck! <laughs> Crawl under! I don't think I have a crouch option. It's just a couple of chairs. That's nice. This is, um, I don't know what I was expecting, but this is great. 
I'm so pumped to keep going with this game. What the hell was that Prometheus thing? That vision? I mean... And he said Pandora? Pandora chained him? I'm not super duper up on my Greek mythology. Um, but Prometheus was the one... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, having his liver eaten or something. Or eternal torment and damnation and fire. Pandora. It, the only thing I remember about Pandora is that she opened the box. And she shouldn't have. So I'm not really sure what that's really referring to. But um, yeah, next time we'll finish up our trip around the city and then we'll get to our expedition.